How did William Afton, the co-founder of Fastbear Entertainment, turn to this thing, Springtrap? Let's find out. But before we move on to that, let's first go over some of the basic things about William Afton that you need to know. So, William, along with a business partner, Henry Emily, created the company Fastbear Entertainment. And as part of Fastbear Entertainment, William and Henry opened a diner called Fred Bear's Family Diner. And this diner mainly catered towards children. William and Henry also created two animatronics that could also be used as wearable costumes. These animatronics were called Fred Bear and Spring Bonnie, and they were basically the mascots of Fred Bear's Family Diner. But later on, they would go on to make more animatronics, and these animatronics did not have the spring lock conversion system in them. So this diner of William and Henry was a massive success, and business was good. Until, one day, William's son, Mike Lafton, messed everything up. So here's what happened. You see, Mike Lafton really liked to bully his younger brother, Evan Afton. Until one day, Michael went too far. So on this particular day, Michael and a bunch of his friends took little Evan and put his head inside the mouth of the Fredbear animatronic. Why? Well, Evan Afton was extremely scared of the animatronics. And since Michael Afton wasn't really that great of a brother, he liked to scare Evan whenever he could. And so, for Evan's birthday, to scare him a little more than usual, Michael put Evan's head inside the Fredbear animatronic. Also, William Afton knew that Michael was bullying Evan, but William let it continue because the spring lock animatronic suits weren't really safe to use, because the spring locks inside the suit, which when wound up keeps the animatronic parts of the suit to the sides, allowing someone to use this animatronic suit as a regular costume. Well, anyways, if these spring locks were to get loose when someone was inside of the suit, that would end pretty bad for whoever was inside the suit. That is because these spring locks are under extreme tension, and if they were to get loose with someone inside the suit, the spring locks would get loose with enough tension to crush bone and skin. And because of this, William Afton didn't want Evan Afton getting anywhere near the suits. Which is why William Afton was cool with Michael Afton, scaring Evan Afton with the animatronics. As for how Michael did that, well, Michael would put on a mask that resembled one of the animatronics and jump scare Evan whenever he could. Evan was pretty young, by the way, so he got easily scared by this. But Michael took it a bit too far when he put Evan's head inside of Fredbear. So what happened was that when Evan was inside Fredbear, he started crying, and his tears got into the spring locks, which made the spring locks get loose and crush Evan's head, basically. Evan didn't immediately die, but after spending some time in the hospital, he did die. Anyways, after the death of his youngest son, Evan, William Afton kind of lost it. So what exactly happens after this point in the Five Nights at Freddy's timeline is subject of much debate, I hear. And so I did 5 minutes of research, and according to the brilliant YouTuber Wendy Goon, who by the way made a very detailed FNAF timeline video that you should probably check out. Well anyways, according to Wendy Goon, after the death of Evan, William actually somehow figured out that Evan's spirit was somehow tied to the Fredbear animatronic. Anyways, William, after noticing this, wanted to study this phenomenon of children getting attached to animatronics further. And to do that, William figured the best way would be to capture and kill some more children. And to do this, William created a new animatronic called Circus Baby. So essentially, Circus Baby was designed to capture, kill, and store children inside of it. But this plan backfired on dear William when his daughter, Elizabeth, walked up to Circus Baby alone. So Circus Baby was programmed to only capture children when this said child was alone in front of the animatronic, and because of William never allowing Elizabeth to go near Circus Baby, one day she stuck out and went to Circus Baby alone. And of course, Circus Baby did what it was supposed to do and killed another one of William's children. So that is two of his children that William got killed. And after this incident with Circus Baby, William was fired from Fastbear Entertainment by Henry. And why did Henry do that? Well, it's possible that Henry helped cover up this incident with Circus Baby. And the reason for that is, immediately after Elizabeth died because of Circus Baby, Circus Baby speeds the world, which was the Fastbear Entertainment franchise where Circus Baby was supposed to do his business. Well, anyways, Circus Baby speeds the world was closed under the guise of a gas week. So the popular belief is that Henry found William with this Circus Baby situation and helped cover it up and also fired William, because somehow it felt to Henry that it might be a good idea to not have William anywhere near Fast Fair Entertainment ever again. But apparently, William did not take too kindly to his firing and wanted to exact vengeance upon Henry. And so, one day, William drives up to one of the Fast Bear franchises called Freddy Fast Bear's Pizza. And once he gets there, he sees Charlotte, 
who is Henry's daughter, standing outside after being locked out of the building. And seizing the opportunity, William walks up and ends the life of Charlotte with a knife. And after doing that, William escapes and is not caught. Although Henry did have suspicions that William caused it. Anyways, after the incident, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza is forced to close, but a while later, it reopens. And once this happens, William Afton puts on a spring bonnie suit and sneaks into Freddy Fazbear's Pizza one day. And after sneaking in, William lures five children to the back rooms of the place and kills all of them. And to hide the evidence, William stuffed the bodies of each of these children into five animatronics, including Fredbear. And after doing that, William gets out of there and he's again not charged. Because even though people were suspicious of William for causing these five deaths, there was no concrete evidence and so, again, William is not charged for his crimes. And so, after this incident, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza is permanently closed and all the animatronics are left inside. And then, a little while later, William again sneaks into the now-abandoned Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. And once William gets in there, he starts destroying all the animatronics into which he stuffed those children into. And why did William do this? Well, it could be to hide evidence. And also, William probably wanted the endoskeleton of these animatronics. And as for why he wanted that, well, for research purposes. Because if you remember, William still wanted to find out how Evan Afton was possessing Fredbear, basically. So anyways, regardless of his intentions, William again breaks into Freddy Fazbear's Pizza and destroys the animatronics. But the one thing that William did not foresee while doing this was what led to his undoing, I guess. And that is because when the animatronics were destroyed, the spirits or ghosts of all the dead children came out of the animatronics and began chasing William inside the building. Eventually the spirits trap William into one of the back rooms and William runs around not knowing what to do. And right here is the moment where William Afton dies and Springtrap is born I guess. Because you see when William was trapped inside this back room by the spirits and William was scared to death, he saw a Spring Bonnie animatronic lying in the corner. This was the same animatronic that he wore to kill these children, so William, in an effort to scare the ghosts maybe, puts on this old, unmaintained Springlock Spring Bonnie suit. And after doing so, William just stands there laughing like he's done something. But then, things go south for William. Because you see, some of the things that cause a spring lock failure is moisture, the springs not being properly wound up, and the suits themselves not being maintained. And unfortunately for dear William, all three happened to him at once. The suit was old and unmaintained, he didn't properly wind up the thing because he was scared. I mean, the guy was being chased by ghosts. And finally, it was raining, and the room he was standing in had a leaky roof. And because of that, a little water falls into the spring lock suit, and the spring locks, of course, fail. And so, all the spring locks get loose and crash into William's body, puncturing his bone and skin and everything, and ultimately replacing all of William's internal organs with animatronic parts. So basically, William dies. Or so everyone thought. Anyways, not long after, someone, possibly Henry Emily, finds William lying there in a pool of his own blood. And after seeing this, Henry Emily has the room sealed off leaving William Afton and the Spring Bonnie suit he was inside to basically rot inside this sealed off room. So this happened sometime around the 90s and William stays there inside the sealed off room or wall until 2023. And that's because in 2023 someone gets the bright idea to create Fast Bears Fright, a horror attraction. Because by 2023, everything that happened in the old Freddy Fazbear locations, the five children dying, and everything had sort of become a legend of sorts. And Fazbear Fright was created to capitalize on this legend. And so, as part of gathering attractions for Fazbear Fright, someone, presumably, somehow got access to the now abandoned Freddy Fazbear Pizza, and apparently, while exploring the abandoned building, they broke into the sealed off room, where William Afton's corpse was just chilling inside of that old Spring Bonnie suit. And whoever did this breaking into took this old Spring Bonnie suit and made it one of the attractions of Fraspear Fright. And it is only now, when this Spring Bonnie suit with William inside is made into a horror attraction, that William basically comes back to possess this old Spring Bonnie suit. Essentially, William Afton woke up in a new body. And this new body of William was called Springtrap. But not to worry, eventually Springtrap was set on fire. But the story doesn't end there, because... It just keeps going on. Anyways, that is the story of how William Afton, half man, half psychopath, turned into a spring trap. <laughs>